Thank you very much to Joe Labello and team for including us in TEDx Long Island City. My name is Megan Burke Raudabush, and I'm the founder of Keep With. Keep With teaches networking to companies, organizations, and conferences around the globe. This talk is called Networking, the Company You Keep. Networking is the building and maintaining of meaningful relationships for personal and professional reasons in support of the goals of the people you know and the people they know. Said in fewer words, networking is building relationships. Networking is reciprocal. It is genuine. And it can be planned, for example, scheduling coffee with somebody to catch up or attending a formal networking event. Or unplanned, for example, standing in line at the grocery store and discovering that the person next to you is in your industry and that you would like to continue the conversation. Here's the problem. Networking is hard. That is because oftentimes what people do in order to build and maintain meaningful networking relationships forces them to step outside of their comfort zone. Good news, networking does not have to be hard when you focus on the company you keep. There are four things that I hope you remember from this talk. Number one, the quality of your relationships matters far more than the quantity of your connections. Number two, learn a fun fact about everyone you meet. It will serve you well. Number three, consider having a networking plan with networking goals. And number four, talk to strangers. You never know who you will meet or what will happen. Quality over quantity. This one is pretty easy to understand. When you focus your energy on building meaningful relationships, that has much more of an impact than focusing on a number of superficial connections. Learn a fun fact. A fun fact is an interesting and unexpected piece of information about someone that most people do not know. For example, a fun fact about me is that I happen to be a knitter. A fun fact about a member of my board is that she happens to be in a rock band. Have a networking plan. Putting strategy and structure and methodology behind your networking activities and your efforts to build meaningful networking relationships will help you to both conserve time and prioritize relationships. Talk to strangers. You never know when you are gonna meet somebody interesting. This can happen on a plane, it can happen on a train, it can happen when you're picking up your child from school. Talking to strangers is outside lots of people's comfort zones, so give it a try and see what happens. People often ask me what prompted me to start a networking company. The short answer is that in 2017, I was being asked to speak and write a lot about networking because I was known to build strong and authentic networking relationships. So I thought to myself, I think there's a company here. The long answer is that I grew up in New York City in Upper Manhattan, in a neighborhood called Inwood. From the time I was eight until I was 18, I was a kid reporter and editor for the Children's Express News Service. As a kid reporter and editor for 10 years, I interviewed adults and kids on important topics. I was 12 years old running around Madison Square Garden with press credentials on covering a political convention. I traveled to Bosnia when I was 15 with UNICEF to interview children about the effects of war on their lives. I interviewed politicians, authors, and everyday people about their lives. My experience as a kid reporter and a kid editor 
taught me the importance of asking open-ended questions and how critical it is that we care about the world around us. Asking questions and seeking to have a more global worldview are essential to successful networking. Networking is the building and maintaining of meaningful relationships for personal and professional reasons in support of the goals of the people you know and the people they know. To network well, focus on the quality of your relationships versus the quantity of your connections, learn a fun fact about everyone you meet, have a networking plan that includes networking goals, and talk to strangers because you never know what will happen. Combine that all with a habit of asking open-ended questions and a constant interest in establishing a more global worldview, and you will do just fine when it comes to the company you keep.